is a trip out to Coffin Bay Township and of course Coffin Bay National Park. We're at the top of Winters Hill Lookout, just on the outskirts of Port Lincoln. I'm on the way to uh, Coffin Bay today to have lunch and sample their globally renowned oysters. But uh, first of all, a stop at Winters Hill Lookout. Bit of a uh, cool day, it's overcast. Hopefully there won't be any rain. Uh, it's about 45 kilometers to Coffin Bay. So I'll hang around there for the day, and have lunch, have a look around, take some photographs. Wow, look at this. What an incredible view of Port Lincoln from up here and surrounds. Traffic on the road today. Come down to Dirt Road, not too far from the turn off to Coffin Bay. I want to put the drone up, have a look. There's some really interesting uh, uh, countryside here. So um, I don't know where I am. I'm near Coffin Bay, I know that. Uh, but uh, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll have a look from up there. Right through the centre of town, eh? Okay, we're entering Coffin Bay National Park. We've had lunch. Let's have a look at this national park. It goes out to the ocean.
So this is Avoid Bay. Can't say, but this is Golden Island. Beautiful surf beach. Ah, oh, this is uh, salmon season too. Coffin Bay National Park. Where did we go? God, we went there. I think we got as far as that camp spot there because from there on in it was just going to be four-wheel drive track through sand and all sorts of things that was the area that uh, they recommended you have a four-wheel drive and not run the risk of engine damage so I'll let that one go however we came in we did this road to there came across to here and had a look at uh, certain points along the way Wonderful. the outskirts of Coffin Bay here, uh, of the town, and heading down to a place called Snapper Point. Snapper Point. Coffin Bay was named on the 16th of February 1802 in honour of Sir Isaac Coffin. The bay remained uncharted until explored in March 1839 by Captain Frederick R. Lees. Snapper Point. You can see the uh, oyster beds off in the distance just to my right. Over there. Or some of them. 
anyway, there's plenty of them. There's more, more over there too. I wonder if this piece of concrete was here in 1802. or so metres off the rocks here. If you cast in there I'm sure there'd be uh, uh, some fish for sure. That man on the boat is uh, having a good old time here. Good on him.